Oh, hi. George the geologist here. I'm at a wonderful place today called Mount Yarrowick. Now, this place is very special for a lot of reasons, but today I'm just going to be focusing on the rocks. And look at these spectacular granodiorite formations. So I've spoken a little bit about granodiorite before. It's a type of granite, uh, or it's very closely related to granite. And as we can see, they're making these absolutely beautiful, almost round spheres of rock. And when we think about really nice round pieces of rock, we tend to think of the stuff we find in the bottom of rivers, like the pebbles and boulders that get washed along by the water. But these rocks, they're still in the same place that they formed. They haven't moved at all. So how come they're so round? It's really odd, isn't it? So what's actually happened here? is this granite, well the granodiorite, it formed deep underground, like more than 10 kilometers below the surface of the earth. It was a big pool of magma that got trapped in the earth's crust and it froze solid. But because it was so far down, there was a lot of rock sitting on top of it and that was creating a lot of pressure. And as all that rock gets eroded away and brings that granite up to the surface, that pressure gets released and the rock can expand a little bit and it cracks because it's very brittle, it's not very stretchy or anything, so as it expands, it just breaks. Now, after it's broken, it turns, it makes these little square sort of shapes, and on the corners of the squares, it's really easy for water to trickle through and alter the rock and transform the minerals in it into things like sand and clay. So at the corners, there's a lot of surface area. You can attack the rock from above and the side, but just on the side of the rock, there's not much surface area, so it's really hard to attack the rock at that point. So as the corners of the rock get um, altered and turned into clays and things, they start to round out. And then, because the rock's turned into clay, all that clay gets washed away when it rains or water's moving along, and all we're left with is these big, sort of round balls of granite, which are called granite tors. That's T-O-R-S. So you, it's really common to see rock formations like this all around New England, around uh, Glen Innes, here at Mount Yarrowick, uh, and all the way from the Armadale down through to uh, Tamworth. There's lots of this sort of uh, granite or granite diorite type rocks, and they form these wonderful granite tours, which sometimes can make really funny looking shapes where they're balancing really precariously. So I hope this one doesn't fall on me. I'll catch you next time.